As it continues to burn, the Colorado fire is giving climate experts insight into what's to come. It's extremely unusual. Uh, we had an unusual combination of a long stretch of dry weather uh, in January combined with an offshore wind event that was pretty substantial. Michael Wara is the director of the Climate and Policy Program at Stanford University. From now on, is this what's going to happen that we should expect for wildfires like this one in January? Oh, I think it's more likely. We're going to see more of them, right? In the old days, um, this would have been an incredibly unusual event, maybe a once in a 50 year event. But these days, it's going to be more common and we're going to see it once every couple of years. Californians need to be aware of the weather in a different way than they used to be. You know, the, the risk is, is real now. Instead of categorizing the summer months as the beginning of fire season, Cal Fire is now preparing for a fire year. 10, 15 years ago, we used to call it the California fire season um, when we might get fires, say, in July that would last through maybe September, October. So it was just a few months. Now our fires are extending all the way through December and then into January. As Cal Fire units gear up for the rest of the year, they're also noticing the California coastal regions are no longer off limits for wildfires. The humidity these areas normally have can't be expected, as seen with the Colorado fire. There should be that heavy marine uh, coastal fog influence um, that usually brings the humidity levels down or up overnight. That didn't happen last night. The humidity levels did not recover and it stayed very dry. Michael Wara believes a fire prevention strategies will be key moving forward. We need to allow some fires to burn when it's safe to do so, when the weather conditions aren't extreme, so that we essentially like pick the time and place of battle um, as opposed to letting nature choose.